Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about the at response status annotation with an example. Let's begin. So at response status annotation is also applicable to Spring Framework. It is not a part of the Spring Boot. It is also a part of the Spring Framework. So let's understand this with an example, why we need at response status annotation and what is the purpose of this annotation. So at response status annotation marks a method or an exception class with the status code and the reason message that should be returned. The status code is applied to the HTTP response when the handler method is invoked or whenever the specified exception is thrown. So at response status annotation is a pretty much self-explanatory. I don't need to explain this explicitly because like by understanding, by looking at the at response status, you can easily say that this is going to return the HTTP status. This is used to specify the HTTP status code. So this can be applied to the class as well as the method. So let's understand this with an example. Let's look at the example so that you will understand more about the at response status notation and how you can use it in your application. So let's jump into the Spring Tool Suite. I have already created the application response status. If I open this, we have a controller package. Let's quickly create a controller. I'm going to call this home controller. And I will annotate this with the at rest controller. And I'm going to create a method public long. This is going to return long. And the method name is test. And I'm going to annotate this with at get mapping annotation. And the URI I'm going to specify is slash test. And I will use the path variable. So to access the ID, so add path variable annotation, this will give us the variable. And inside this, I'm just going to return, okay, this will be string, the return type, I'm going to return a string. The passed ID is, I'm going to append the ID. Okay, now I'm going to create a method which is going to handle the exception. So this will return string. And what I'll do is I'm going to call this handle exception. This is going to handle the exception for an illegal argument exception. So I'm going to annotate this with at exception annotation. In case if you don't know about this at exception handler annotation, I'll drop a link in the description section of this video. I made a separate video on this annotation. Make sure to check out that video as well. Exception handler and we're going to specify the exception name or the exception class which is illegal argument exception and we'll also pass inside this parameter as well illegal argument exception and inside this i'm going to return an exception dot get message all right so now we are going to annotate this class this method with the at response status and this is going to takes a few options one is value and the value which is nothing but the http status http status and this will be bad request so 400 the status code and i will also specify the the reason you can specify why this exception has been thrown you can provide your default message so i am going to write a message pass number only okay so let's save this and now let's run our application Okay, let's open the main class, run as Spring Boot application. All right, the application is started. Let's open the browser. Let's enter the URL localhost 8080 slash test slash. I'm going to enter actually the number two and in this case it will return the uh, response the passed id is two now let's try for passing the string let's say some id 
and you can see the white label error uh, you can see the default message that we have passed is passed number only and you can also see the status code which is 400 and we get the uh, exception which is a number format exception okay so now let's actually uh, change our status code and we can confirm that whether it's working or not so inside the home controller i'm going to change the status code to internal server error internal server error and let's save this and now let's try hitting the request you can see the status 500 pass number only so this is all about the at response status i hope you understand about this annotation thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video